okay let us discuss this problem first read this problem copy this one and then we'll discuss what the problem asking Okay, let us discuss. So this says, uh, if you treat CH3Br, that is a primary alkyl halide, methyl bromide, with H2O, and this H2 alone, nothing catalyst, uh, hydrolysis occurs, that is Br goes and H2O attacks, SN2 mechanism we have, and if you lose in the next step, A, OH, H+, plus, sorry, then you will have CH3OH, that is methanol. So this means this is a hydrolysis reaction. So hydrolysis of CH3Br in the presence of H2O, uh, this reaction is a slow reaction. But if you do the hydrolysis in the presence of H2O, now there is a catalyst K plus I minus. In this case, rate becomes faster. So again, you are doing the hydrolysis CH3OH2 plus. If you lose H plus, you will have CH3OH in the next step. So if you want, you can write CH3OH by losing H plus also. So if you lose H plus, you will have CH3OH as you getting. Now the question is, uh, why the rate is increased? If I use Ki, K plus I minus, why the rate has increased? So what is the function of Ki, or basically what is the function of I minus in this case? Mechanism is SN2, everybody knows one primary alkyl halide, you have SN2 reaction. In the first case, H2O is acting as a nucleophile. In the second case again, if you see here, H2O is acting a nucleophile, but now why the rate has increased? What is the function of I minus? If you look the function of I minus, you will get the answer. So I will give you a hint. I minus can act as a living group as well as nucleophile also. So think something. Okay, let us discuss. So basically, I minus is a good nucleophile as well as good living group, and that's why the rate is increasing. So I minus is a good nucleophile as well as good living group. That is the reason the rate of this reaction is increased. So what happens in the first step? I minus is a good living nucleophile, so this attacks and leaves the Br. Br minus. So this I minus attacks and Br minus goes. Now I minus is also a good living group also. So this Br minus uh, H2O in the next step attack on the CH3I and leaves I minus. So what is happening? Br Br minus is not a good leaving group, but now I minus is a good leaving group. So this means H2O can attack and I minus can go easily. So this rate of this reaction is increased. 
also i minus is a greater nucleophile than br minus so it can attack here so it will also have a reaction rate so alkyl halide will be converted so alkyl bromide will be converted into alkyl iodide and then it will be converted by the water to alkyl uh, al methyl alcohol ch3oh2 plus and then it can go to a lose h plus it can have ch3 so what is the function of i minus i minus is best basically acting as a catalyst in the first uh, part of the reaction it adds with the alkyl halide and the second part of the reaction it loses i minus so this means i minus is acting as a good nucleophile as well as good leaving group so i minus increases the rate via ch3i as intermediate formation are you getting so ch3i as a intermediate that is formed in this step and now this intermediate in the next step attacked by the br minus so you see i minus increases the rate by the intermediate formation copy this one if you copy it then i can go for the next problem so i minus is basically acting as a catalyst i minus is the size of the i minus is big so if the size is big it can be a good nucleophile because what i want i want to have attack and it can also be a good leaving group because the bigger size it can easily stabilize the negative charge bigger size Two, two factor. It can be easily polarizable. That's why it's a good and good nucleophile, and it can easily stabilize this the negative charge, and that's why it's a good leaving group. Okay, let us discuss the next problem. <coughs> 